I'm having so much fun with this update. Check out the secret escape tunnel. This is so awesome. Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to create an advanced redstone creation in 0.15.0. Now this is going to be an escape hatch that blends a slime block launcher with a piston door that's built into the ground to hide everything. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this. Of course it's built above the ground, but basically this is supposed to be the floor at the top. We come over here hit this button, the floor opens up, then we can go ahead and run forward and check this out, we get launched out right onto the surface and that is just so cool. Now we can hit this button and then close the ground as if nothing ever happens. Now of course you can hide these buttons anywhere on the map, blend it into decorations, so it's just a really awesome little contraption. Now you can hit the button again to open it and then jump down onto our slime block and then enter our house and then hit this button to close it. So it's a really nice like bat cave entrance or something like that and it's a really cool addition into MCPE when I use it on PC it was a really amazing thing to use in my house so hopefully you guys utilize this as well all right so now let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this so I am building this on a super flats, but keep in mind this is made to be entirely underground. Either way, let's go ahead and get started with a 3x3 three three area that's two blocks deep. We place down a sticky piston right in the middle with a slime block on top. Now we need to grab ourselves either furnaces or obsidian because they do not stick to slime blocks. Place down the blocks just like this, touching our slime block, and also build up one block on the left and right hand side, whichever positions those are. Then and grab yourselves regular blocks, build out one over here, one over there, and then finally two blocks at the back, which is basically going to be the back of the contraption. Then we need to dig out two blocks right over here, place down a bit of redstone dust there, and then right in front of that redstone dust, place down a redstone repeater, and then set that repeater to four ticks or the maximum amount. So if I come down here, as you guys can see, it's set all the way to the max, and then we place down a block over here with a pressure plate on top, and that's basically going to be our slime block launcher. If you go ahead and test this out as you guys can see just run on forward and boom it works perfectly and that's because it has a delay so it does not activate as soon as you step on the pressure plate all right so now let's go ahead and place down two blocks over there and also we need to start building up our pistons now to build up the pistons what we do is basically count two blocks over place down a row of blocks like this and then build it up by uh, another row like that then grab ourselves some sticky pistons place down our sticky pistons facing towards the middle just like that and place down another row of sticky pistons on top and finally place down a bunch of sticky pistons just like that with the floor blocks right over there all right so once we have that build up this side by another row place down three blocks like this and then place down three more place down three redstone repeaters with three bits of redstone dust and finally a redstone repeater at the direct center so the left side is now complete now we need to go ahead and power our pistons on the right hand side now you can power this however you want but i think the easiest way for me that has no glitches in this current version is by pretty much building out a set of blocks over here and then building out one block like this like that over there and then one block down and then building this out by three and then placing down our redstone torches just like that. Now what this is going to do is power our bottom pistons as well as the pistons that's getting powered from this block at the top. And then we need to pretty much invert the entire thing. So now what we need to do is build out a two by three area just like that. Place down some redstone repeaters right over there. And then place down some redstone dust over there. Place down a block over here with a redstone torch on top. It should invert the system and turn all of those pistons off. Then we need to place down a redstone repeater going into this block. And that's how we will activate that portion of our contraption. Now, like I mentioned, I did not really reduce anything over here. So you could definitely use less redstone if you choose. Now, one of the main things you do need to do is set this to four ticks and keep the tick delay on this one set to the original. All right, so the next thing we do need to do is grab ourselves some redstone dust and connect this a bit of redstone dust all the way down to the other repeater and you also might need another redstone repeater in order to refresh the signal so let's just go ahead and do that there we go and make sure it's not touching any other redstone on the map place down maybe another one over here 
and then send it towards this repeater just like that. Now the final thing we need to do is create our T flip flop and to do this we grab ourselves some droppers, place one facing this way, then place one facing up like that, then go ahead and crouch and then place one facing this way and then place down a hopper right on top of the first one of our dropper. So it's going to make a circle, then we need to grab ourselves a redstone comparator. So let's go ahead and do that, grab that, place it down right over there and then place down a repeater directly in front of it. And then we need to connect this redstone to this bit of redstone. And we could also place this anywhere on the map. I do have to mention, then place a redstone repeater going to this and then place down a item into this uh, dropper over here. So it could be any item that you choose. And when we add a signal into this dropper, it should create a T flip flop. Let's go ahead and try this by grabbing ourselves a button. And that's going to be right over here place down maybe a grass block and then you know place a button over here hit that button and check it out we now have a T flip flop and our system now working now like I mentioned this is like a sloppy design you guys could add in the T flip flop anywhere on the map and make it smaller and smaller like I did with my creation on that side but as you guys can see we hit this button over here and then it pushes up the uh, floor then we could go ahead and build up the floor around it or whatever so let's just go ahead and build that out so let's do a final test. That is the floor. We come over here, hit this button, the floor pulls away. Then we need to walk forward or run, and then we get launched to the top. Check it out. That is a really awesome secret entrance. And in order to add in another button at the top, you simply just add in another bit of redstone going into that particular dropper. So that's really just the input. And whatever signal you add over there will create the T flip flop, as you guys can see. Either way, guys, that's basically going to wrap up today's. MCPE redstone tutorial as you guys can tell it was an advanced tutorial So if you want to see more awesome redstone tutorials creations and contraptions Be sure to subscribe to their channel leave a comment down below as well as like the video Anyways, this was twist and I'll see you all next time